Aloha! This is the Green Lightning Mr. T. Last episode. Uh, we got a couple of giant sprites. Uh, talked about why this is coming out so late, I guess. A little about the game. I don't know. But next on our agenda is I'm gonna head over here. Because I'm not gonna be doing the game. The, all the worlds in exact order. I'm gonna be doing a little bit out of order in what tends to be the most convenient order. Hmm, what am I gonna do? Harb the harbor. Whatever. I might do. What's. What is this? What? Give me a map. What is this place called? Defino Plaza. I might do Tofino because all the sunshines, sun shines, yeah, shine sprites, <laughs> sunshines, um, in Tofino Plaza last. Whatever. Technically, this was here before, it's just that it wasn't buried. Yeah, whatever. This is where you have to give your blue coins, and I'll get into that later. Rico Harbor. Gloober, Bloober breaks out. So, is that his name? Gloober? Bloober? I never actually thought of him as a name. I guess he wasn't that iconic as Petey Fron. Okay. Did I mention that this is a great game? <laughs> These levels are like very iconic, I guess, and all like really rememberable levels. Because they're all. well, they're very different levels. And they each have their own themes and stuff, I guess? I don't know. Whatever, we'll see how things go. Alright, so for in this level you basically want to head over here to where this pile of crates are. And I guess in order to f how you would find it is basically wherever you need to go is where the polluted water will be. <laughs> how weird that is. <laughs> But, yeah, you basically have to find the source. So he was inside that one crate? I... Was, is that right? Yeah, whatever. Come on. Basically, in order to defeat this boss, what you mainly have to worry about are the two um, middle tentacles. Basically, once you, all you have to do is jump on them, and you're pretty much set. You can just go straight for the mouth. Ah, uh, come on. Got him. Ah. Now that takes care of uh, Gloober Bloober, apparently. Because apparently water is deathly ill to him. <laughs> I don't know. So we have another shrine sprite. I apologize if it feels like I'm going through these really fast. Like, because I'm not really showing off the world, but... Huh. I guess that'll... Because I'm not doing the blue coins as I go, so that kind of ruins things. Blah, 
Blooper Surfing Safari. Oh, this is a good one. Blooper Surfing. Everyone remembers this. <laughs> right? Ah, one thing quick to note about Blooper Surfing is there is three different kinds of bloopers. Actually, will this guy say you talk about it? <laughs> I'm the big daddy of blooper surfing. That's right. You like surfing? Hop on a blooper and give it a whirl. Oh, but one thing, Big Day waves all liability. <laughs> uh, well, all right. Apparently, he waves all liability for us dying. Isn't that wonderful? All right, so. The green one's the slowest, the yellow one's the, I guess, actually, here. The purple one's the fastest, and the yellow one's the middleman. Also, because of the green one's the slowest, it's easiest to steer. The purple one's the fastest, so it's the hardest to steer. And once again, the yellow is the middleman. So, I guess for now, I'll just use the middleman. Now, you can slow, no, you can't slow yourself down. You can speed yourself up by holding forward, but, um, yeah. So if you want to go faster but you need steering, choose an easier one to control. <laughs> Alright, so basically you have to do this under a time limit. I think it's... I'm not sure what the time limit is. I think it's under 40 seconds? Yeah, it's under, it's under 40 seconds. Um, now, it is possible to do it with each of the bloopers. If you use the green one, you do need to keep going faster. <laughs> These guys have really strange language. Um, and I love the um, goodbye music. <laughs> so I'll be doing this with the green blooper for now. Because there are hidden sprites. There's two hidden sprites at each level. And then there's a 100 point sprite. So basically, if you're going to use a green, while it has a good steam, you do need to hold forward, or else you'll never beat the timer. Ugh. And that was me holding forward the entire time, so... I would definitely not have made it if I wasn't holding forward. Wait, you mean you were giving me this? You mean you've been holding on to this shine sprite? Even though your island needs it? Yeah, this game has some weird logic where the people of... Well, the island is like dying or something like that. Because their people, the shine sprites are gone and apparently everyone on the island seems to own one. <laughs> <laughs> so their their whole island is dying because no one seems to give a, the care that they're holding on to uh, a shine sprite that the island desperately needs. So yeah, Nintendo logic. Yes, hurry up, cutscene. We can see. The yeah. And there's your Debs alert. I love reading those those news updates. I feel kind of bad that they kind of run out of things to talk about, though. <laughs> and that toad just waited patiently for us to get here before deciding to sink. Uh, sorting this, saving this toad is kind of difficult because the Google like kind of has a boundary of how far it can be. Thanks, Mario. <laughs> oh, that's so hilarious. I'm sorry, but it truly is hilarious. Oh god. 
Oh god. I, get, oh, well, I hate how you can take damage during cutscenes in this game. That's one thing I don't like. Now, you may have noticed that we've been fighting the same enemy quite a lot. And each time, he gets a little bit harder. Like, the last time we fought him, he actually had to go through the process twice. So, what's this guy's deal? Um, he shoots out a bunch of those guys, which I don't actually know the name of. Oh god! <laughs> it only takes a drop to take this guy down, for crying out loud. I don't know, I forget the... Forget the whole aiming process and just spray. It's Paper Mario! <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's kind of cool how the, like, you can see how flat, how it looks flat and it just kind of pops up into the 3D, so whatever. Spray, spray, spray. And we're hopping into Galato Beach, is that right? Yep. Dune Bud Sand Castle Secret. Uh, those words kind of don't flow together. Oh well. Obviously something to do with that Dune Sand Bud. God, if they didn't have those cutscenes... They'd be like Super Mario 64 again. And that'd actually be fun now that I think about it. Only problem is that I played through these games with the... Um... Strategy guide, so we already made a difference. Um, I actually do should be remembering what these guys are called, but I actually don't remember what they are off the top of my head for some reason. I do know they love to toss you in the air, <laughs> but what are they called? Oh well, for later. Of course, you guys are. Get the annotation. I think I'm actually, for this game, I'm gonna once again um, give a little description of the, what the character does, since I'm kind of just going through this so quite fast. Yo. Be thankful! And if you're not tired of hearing sand, um, sound effect of disintegration. Um, you, you are lucky, young sir, madam. Because it is actually kind of hard to listen to. <laughs> but there you go. Um, I didn't even do anything at all about that level. Um, there's going to be two of these, like, hidden areas in each level um, that will actually take away your flood. And, and that's, like, really neat. Um, how they make you play without flood, I think. Really challenges you to just play, so the whole game isn't surrounded by, oh, you can just, you know, say, hover wherever you need to go. No, you'd have to play as Mario as well. So, I really appreciate those levels, although they can be quite difficult. Not for me, however, I am an expert. Wahaha, look at me flaunt. Ear madness. Tilt slam bam. Now, oddly enough, this level... Um, I, I under... Somewhere along, down the line while playing... Because I played this game quite a couple times. Um, even though I have, like, no save files. I... My... Memory card actually went through a phase where it got corrupted and I lost everything on it. So, that kind of sucked. Thank God, goodness they didn't lose power tennis, though. <laughs> of all things, I'd be worried about power tennis. <sighs> Maybe I'll play that at some point. Whatever. <laughs> I know I plan- Ah, oh, enough babbling, who cares? Alert, alert! Just look at the top of the tower! Eh, uh, there's a Wiggler up there. Apparently he's green. Hmm, must be indignious to uh, Delfino Isle, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Some weird thing has curled up on the tower to take a nap. This could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. 
So is that supposed to be a light source as well? Are there multiple light sources? Hi, son. Where are you on the other half of the island? Oh, right. Clouds. Clouds? So the shine space keep... Is this island doomed to a cloudy sky? What is that? Corona? Mo is that the mountain? That volcano's fault? That it's constantly under clouds? Clouds don't look so bad over here. Whatever, Nintendo logic. Uh, stop bobbling. So this uh, level's not as easy as the other level. Ha ha ha! Oh, lovely. So. So there's- I love all the hidden secrets in this game. Like, if you spray water in certain areas, you'll get certain things to appear. Really neat, I guess. You can, pr you can pretty much jump to where you need to go anyways without find using those secrets, but... It's neat, otherwise. Okay, now we have these guys. I don't remember know what these guys are either. They're kind of like they're kind of like Wiggler segments, actually, except they have plungers for feet. Now, what you have to do is you have to knock them off, but because it's tilt slam bam, I guess that's your hint for how to take these guys out. Now, this is actually the hardest one to take out. There's um three of these like thing. I don't know, solar panels? I guess solar panels. More pollution! Um, um, awareness! <laughs> uh, I really have them using solar panels. What a nice island, by the way. Using all this non pollution stuff. So what was I saying? Somewhere along down the line while playing this, I forgot how to beat this. <laughs> and it drove me nuts because I couldn't figure out how to get these guys, like, to get this, get them off. I don't understand how I messed up, but basically, the formula for getting these guys off is the mirror has to be at least a certain angle in the opposite direction. These guys don't have to be like in doing that thing. They just have to be far enough over there, and, mm, well, that has to be enough. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, just do that and then just do this. <laughs> but, the, the solar panel has to be pointing in the angled right before you can even sl slam them off, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, I just jumped right into him. Come on! Yep. Yep. That's what I mean, how you have to pass. Ugh. There you go. But that's the kind of issue I would have, but I couldn't, for some reason, I just kept having the issue over and over again. Uh, does anyone care? Probably not. And... Oh, God. Did we just kill that Wiggler? That... A wiggler who's only indigenous to... Is that even the right word? Indigenous to Delfino Isle. Oh, no. We're in, creating an endangered species. I don't know. But God, that's gruesome. He just fell into his segments. Whatever, we... It was all worth it, right? We got a Shine Sprite. Shine Sprite! Shine! And I guess that's it for this episode. <laughs> oh well.
Alright, so, at any rate, this has been the Green Lightning Mr. T. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. The video. But, ah, uh, who cares? Aloha!